silly dog. Now let me tell you a little story. Back in early 2007, I went through some minor surgeries. I had to remove two of my molar teeth, one from each side. It was a pretty depressive experience. Anyway, my mom wanted to buy me a game, because she felt I deserved it after these not-so-funny procedures. What game did I choose? Well, slap me silly and call me old Frick Stormcloak, I bought the one and only Sonic and the Secret Rings. Why? I don't know! I actually thought it was a pretty good game when it came out. I was wrong. I was very, very wrong. The game was first shown at E3 in 2006 with the title Sonic Wildfire, but the title was later changed to Sonic and the Secret Rings and got released in North America in February 2007, and less than two weeks later in Europe. Sonic Team wanted to revolutionize Sonic, again, since the Wii was still called the Revolution during the development of this game, so they decided to go with the Arabian Nights setting. Because... that's cool, I guess? So... Is this still a good game? You bet your stupid butthole it isn't! So when the game first came out, it received surprisingly good reception, leading to some 8 out of 10s and so on. Heck, even I thought it was okay when I first played it. But holy shit, I dare you to play it nowadays. I did, and I haven't experienced such frustration since I first played Dota 2. So the game starts with Sonic sleeping in his... house, I guess? And then this girl, Shara, the genie of the ring, appears from the Book of Arabian Nights and tells Sonic to stop the evil spirit Eraser Jin. This evil spirit is tearing apart all the stories slash pages of the Arabian Nights and... Uh, long story short, stop evil. By the way, these are the cutscenes. Hand-painted images with voiceovers. I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty lazy. Like most games nowadays, you have to go through the most irritating tutorials before you can start the game. And this game is no different. It will really make sure to teach you how to Sonic. How to run, turn, reverse, jump and do the homing attack. One special thing about this game is that you always go straight forward. You can't roam around freely like in Sonic 06. Is this an improvement? Yeah, almost. By this I mean you can only go forward by holding the Wiimote normally, and to turn you have to tilt the controller sideways. You go reverse by tilting the controller backwards and you push it forward to do the homing attack. Innovative, huh? Well, this is the reason why the game got such good praise to begin with. It was one of the first games to have these kind of controls, but nowadays, it's the most frustrating thing you can imagine in a game. If you haven't played this, then I can give you a short demonstration of how frustrating it can be. God damn it! I turned, didn't I? Why did you attack him? I just wanted to go in reverse! No! Go back, go back! Ah! Oh, you stupid sack of shit! Even if you're used to the controls, there will still be lots of times where everything just fucks up. And you will only blame the controls, not yourself. But I should at least be grateful that you pressed the 2 button to jump and not something stupid such as flinging the controller upwards or something. <laughs> but the stupidest thing of them all must be the jump itself. We do have the simple small jump as they call it by quickly pressing the 2 button. But if you want to do a higher jump, here comes the stupid part by the way, you have to hold it down to charge your jump. And when doing that, Sonic stops. You have to stop to charge your jump. You have to stop in a Sonic game. You're not supposed to stop, you gotta go fast! Speaking of fast, this game is not it. Sonic isn't really running that fast to begin with. 
He starts slowly and... Yep, there you have it. That's no good. Anyways, enough with the controls. Here's another thing I think is stupid. There are seven worlds in this game if you don't count the tutorial world. This means that there are only seven stages, but each stage has multiple missions like defeat all enemies, collect 99 rings, don't get defeated, and... What the hell is a genie egg? Genie egg? Oh, I know what that is. It's a 100% delicious sandwich, that's what a genie egg is. <laughs> what the fuck, what is a genie egg? Now what the poop sack is a genie egg? What? Mm. Oh, so good. What the fuck's a genie egg? What the fuck is a genie egg? Genie egg. What the fuck is a genie egg? I can't find a genie egg. I can't find it. Why can't I find it? What the fuck a genie egg is? Oh, here it is. <clears throat> genie egg. An object found in Sonic and the Secret Rings for Wii. In each world you will find one of the secret world rings, which are just another version of the Chaos Emeralds by the way. These are needed to open the doors to the final boss. There are only a few bosses before that that you have to beat. The rest is only mission after mission. Most missions repeat themselves and the special challenges are just, well, dumb. Also the characters you meet throughout the game are pretty stupid as well. And by this I mean Tails is Alibaba, Knuckles is Sinbad and Dr. Eggman is King Sharia. And they only know themselves as these characters and not as the characters we all know. Dumb. Sonic's endless cheering? Dumb. Yeah, 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 but how are the levels then? Actually, they're not that bad, but the problem is that most objects and enemies are oddly placed and if you happen to fuck up, <laughs> then too bad, try and navigate yourself while reversing, you asshole. What, what the hell? What, what, why am I stuck? Come, come on, get up, get off. Yeah. HOLY SHIT! <laughs> I think it's necessary to mention that you don't have lives in this game. If you die, you start at the checkpoint. You also don't lose all of your rings once you get hit. You only lose 20 rings when you get hit. So if you have 21 rings or more, you basically have 3 lives. 4 to 1 rings equals 4 lives and so on. You also have a power meter called the soul gauge. With this you can use 2 abilities. One of them is Speed Break, where you go super fast and kill all enemies in the duration you're using this ability. The second one is called Time Break, and it's scary as hell. Now did I mention that you will die multiple times because of some stupid shit as Sonic refused to attack? I know I already talked about the controls, but it ruins the gameplay completely. Sometimes the motion controls won't respawn and you'll just sorta of get stuck there or fall down a pit or whatever. Most of these problems occur with the platforming or the boss battles. Or even worse, boss battles with platforming. I literally played this specific boss over and over again, only because I kept falling down in the lava and other stupid stuff like that. With so much anger, I finally beat this stupid guy only to realize that I've only played halfway through the game. Anger. Also, what does these missions have to do with anything? Why do I need to collect this many rings, or why do I have to defeat this many enemies? And don't tell me, oh, those are the objectives. <laughs> no, my objective is beat the living crap out of everything while collecting the world rings, while beating the crap out of these stupid bosses while trying not to screw up with the controls, and finally get to Eraser Jin to kick his ass. This game clearly doesn't know how to Sonic. Hello? Hey Dex. Yeah? What's a genie egg? How the fuck should I know?
Aside from the story mode, there is a multiplayer mode, where you can have four players compete against each other in some minigames. Because that did so well last time they did it. But hey, guess what? These are motion controlled! We don't need to dig into that, so let's continue. When reaching the end of the game, your genie friend gets killed by a Razor Jin, and I know that I should have put a spoiler warning for this part, but damn it, no one should care about this game anyway, let's move on. Thanks to this action, we'll see something that hasn't been seen in a Sonic game before. A completely new transformation, filled with anger. Sonic transforms into a DUTCH VIPER! Here is where you really have to concentrate, because you need to charge up your power meter by shaking the Wiimote up and down. And you have to do this while avoiding objectiles and all kinds of crazy shit. It's really hard, but after finally beating this... mass of lasagna, Sonic will turn back to his normal self, holding the magic lamp that is the lamp of Razor Jin. Three wishes! Revive Shara! BAM! Return the stories to her pages? BAM! Seal a Razor Jin into the magic lamp? BAM! Evil has been defeated. I'm a hedgehog! <laughs> With all worries gone, Sonic is requesting one more wish from Shara. He wishes for... I wish for a mountain of handkerchiefs. Now, just let yourself cry. As much as you need to, you'll have plenty of handkerchiefs to help you through it. It's the most... That? It's the most... Cheesiest line I... Ever heard in a Sonic game? <laughs> I, I am. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. Um, there, there, there. There you have it. That's Sonic and the fucking secret rings. Is this game worse than I remember it? A big slow motion. Yes. I actually thought I was gonna have a good time playing this game again, but there was so much anger. So much frustration, so much sadness, so much I don't give a flying Swedish fuck about this game. If you want to play a good 3D Sonic game, then I highly recommend Sonic Generations. I'm serious. It's, it's, it's pretty much one of my favorite games this generation, no pun intended. But um, yeah, whatever you do, stay away from Sonic and the Secret Rings. For your own good. I seriously thought that it was a good game. And if you have that th thought now, play it again. No, 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 don't play it again. I don't. I thought the exact same thing as you, so don't play it. As for me, well... I really didn't like this game, so... I'll see you guys sometime in the future. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Twitter, where I'll be posting news, updates and other random shit. Links to the silly people who appeared in this video are in the description. Thank you. I need you to answer me this question. Space Hamster, calm down. Take it easy. What is it? What's a genie egg? What an asshole!